Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my first video after two months and also my first video since the summer vacation has been started. So for this video, I'm inspired by one of my favorite YouTubers, which is an artist. So Mariah Elizabeth does these kind of videos like painting on boxes, on seashells and on a bunch of other stuff. So as you guys can see, I'm going to use light pastel colors. For this, um, so I'm starting with pink and normally you could use a base coat of acrylic gesso which is good because it prevents paint from soaking into the wave of the material or the object but anyways I don't have it so I'm just gonna go straight into the painting process. Also you can use sandpaper which I do have but I'm not going to use it because I completely forgot about it. And here I'm going into the top part of the box and also I forgot to tell that this box is used to store all my fabric that I have for sewing. And I did not add any tape or anything on that little metal part but I was trying my best for the paint does not touch that piece. But as you guys can see you can just scratch it off or you can still use a, if it's still wet the paint then you can just use a towel. And definitely add two coats of paint, especially if you're not using gesso like me. And you can even add three, four layers. Uh, it depends on how thick your paint is. So here I'm using a cup of water to clean my brush when changing colors. And, uh, and a dry towel as well to remove any excess water on my paintbrush. You guys can also use a napkin. And obviously this is not the final cleanup for the brush. I used apple barrel white acrylic paint, um, a matte varnish Mod Podge, and a multi-surface bright pink Foley Art paint, um, a magenta pink that came from a set packet, as well as this one which is just another baby pink color that also came in a set packet. And, and you, you can buy it from Walmart or any other um, art store or craft store like Michael's or dessert and now I just finish with the pink part of it I'm going with the orange I'm just mixing a bright strong orange color with some yellow and another base orange color and I'm adding some I'm adding some white into it and yes I was about to go put it just um, like on the side of it but then I realized that I don't want to do a rainbow color so I just um, add it on the back side, so I'll make it just it won't be a rainbow finally and yes now I'm using a tape uh, I'm adding on that metal piece To avoid uh, getting like touched by paint, but yes later on I will remove it because I Just said that it was bothering me kind of and they were too big and I didn't cut it the right side uh, the right size, but if you guys want you can add some tape. I just rather thing that is better that I just can like paint it without touching it like that just being careful and yes I am still painting on the two piece of wood that are not glued together they're supposed to be like it's the box that opens so what happens later is that I had trouble opening it because because of the paint it like kind of stick together the both pieces but after it was good because I used a knife to open it And by the way, I didn't finish filming this whole video in this one. So this is part one and I'll be uploading a part two later on. After doing this orange coat, I'll be adding my blue coat. And don't forget to like my video, subscribe my YouTube channel and stay tuned for my next part. I'll be uploading hopefully um, to finish off this project. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.